नमस्कार वेलकम आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद मोहन आई एम द चेयरमैन ऑफ द शिश्रुता आई वी एफ सेंटर इन पटांगी पालगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन केरला टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू स्पीक टू यू अबाउट इनफर्टिलिटी दैट मीन्स चाइल्डलेसनेस यू नो दैट चाइल्डलेसनेस इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम इन सोसाइटी टुडे एंड आई वुड लाइक टू गिव सम थॉट्स अबाउट इट एंड आई वोट बी टॉकिंग अबाउट the usual uh, diagnostics the treatments and all those things something out of the box some out of the uh, out of the way thinking about infertility you know when a couple gets married after some time the first question that arises is to bring forth a child everybody starts asking have you got a child or no child so um, the idea is immediately to have a child Now if you ask people why do you want a child why should you have a child so the answer is well everyone should have a child but why why should you have a child so actually there is no answer nobody can give an answer for that because it's just a natural instinct i think of the animals the animals just reproduce it just reproduce out of a natural instinct now that is an existential necessity propagation of the species the species should go on develop so so it is so in uh, plant kingdom also and from single cell animal single cell uh, beings to the human being everybody everything it is natural instinct is to reproduce this existential necessity when it came to the human level when human beings or homo sapiens were established in this world the entire thing got a different dimension the different dimension in the sense that inability to bring forth an offspring uh the failure to bring forth an offspring became a very devastating experience for that couple it's something uh, very very difficult for them you know, to understand to comprehend to experience now this inability to bring forth an offspring and the label of infertility corrodes into the physical mental emotional social financial and spiritual aspects of their life <clears throat> now the question is hmm, the the thing is that infertility is not a disease infertility is not a disease of course many diseases can cause infertility but infertility is not a pathological condition it is the absence of a desired condition that is there is a desire desire to bring forth the child now that desire uh, seems to be an irrational desire because nobody is going to die because they don't have a child so it it is an irrational desire born out of a natural instinct now <clears throat> it's not a, a pathological condition but still uh, there is a lot of uh, stress and strain in this thing so it is called the grieving for the unborn you now people have grief for somebody who has departed somebody is no more but in infertility it is called the grieving for the unborn you desire for some something but that is still unborn and you grieve for it now when we look back into the human history uh when we were hunter gatherers thousands of years ago our ancestors were hunter gatherers now reproduction was uh, happening naturally just like the animals just like they they were just just reproducing they were thought about it they were, they were not concerned about it it was a natural biological process but when uh humans the homo sapiens started establishing societies what alvin toffler called as the uh the first wave in human history uh it became some sort of an it took an ex- economical dimension in that uh, that if you in a society if you have a male child that child can help you in uh earning uh, help help you to earn a living if you have a boy that boy can help the father to go out and uh, uh, help him to earn the living and if you have a girl that girl can help Uh, the mother in the household activities but as society developed <coughs> as society developed further this particular problem of having a child 
took another social dimension that in a society when somebody your your son or daughter somebody gets married people start asking how many children you have still still they have not have, uh, had a child so it became a, a socially important aspect to have a child and it took a social dimension and it became a symbol of a social status now as societies grow and uh, then at that time what happened was that medicine was rapidly developing the medical science was rapidly developing and in the last probably if you look at the uh, development in medical history uh, history of medicine uh, in the last 25 years uh, i don't think that there is any other field of medicine where so much of advances have come so rapidly in a large way big dimension of uh, developments and changes in the treatment diagnostic all these things came within a very short time in the science what is called a reproductive medicine so when what happened when the whole thing happened the entire thing got medicalized there is something called medicalization of a problem that this particular social problem uh, the, the thing was what started as a biological issue became a social issue and the entire social issue got into a medical issue now this problem of childlessness or infertility is a medical issue in the sense that when you get somebody asks a question do you have a child no then you have to see a doctor you have to go and go treatment and more and more people go for more and more sophisticated advanced tests and uh, uh, diagnostic techniques and treatments and all that what happened was that when all these things were happening there was a tremendous psychosocial change in the whole concept of infertility the infertile couples were put to a lot of pressure and this pressure caused uh, uh, infertility became a common <clears throat> problem everybody knew about it and then um, there was a lot of pressure on the couple and what happened was that uh, this stigma or the label of infertility causes a lot of intrapersonal conflicts in each person now here there are there's one unit the husband and the wife and each the husband has intrapersonal conflicts about this problem and the wife has got intrapersonal conflicts about this problem and it affects their interpersonal relationship and interpersonal uh, communication being together and all these issues come into the picture but in our society especially in indian society the society comes into the picture the society puts a lot of pressure on these people now many of the other countries you know people are not bothered whether you are married whether you have got children <clears throat> they are not bothered but here everybody puts pressure on them friends relatives parents everybody anybody has you don't have a child oh. so the stigma is uh, very much so the psychosocial issue of infertility is a tremendous problem and uh, next uh, in the next episode we'll talk about the psychosocial problem and its dimensions and what happens to the couple when they have this problem of infertility thank you